Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be talking about the official RPCS3 PlayStation 3 emulator for Android devices and I'm not talking about running this emulator using Windows emulators or cloud gaming I'm talking about the original Android port of this PlayStation 3 emulator for mobile devices so yeah guys finally one of the developers and the founding fathers of RPCS3 emulator has started working on RPCS3 mobile port in today's video I'll be giving you guys full information including gameplay future of this emulator and even possible release date but before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification let's jump right into our today's video now if you have been following my channel you guys know that APS 3e a PlayStation 3 emulator based on RPCS 3 was recently released now suddenly out of nowhere after this project was released lot of new folk versions of RPCS 3 emulator Android port started going under development which was very shocking because since 2020 people have been asking for PS3 emulators for Android but not even the original developers of RPCS3 emulator were entertaining these facts but after the release of APS3e suddenly everyone started getting interested because PS3 emulation on Android is now 100% possible in 2025 we even get playable FPS on high-end Android devices and assuming this the development of the RPCS3 Android port has officially commenced now DHRPCS3 who is one of the main developers of RPCS3 emulator even for PC has started working on this open source project which is present on its official github page i'll put it right here you guys will be able to see it has some disclaimer and currently it is not complete this github page is just public for educational purposes and if we take a look at some of the issues then we can even see the developer actively interacting with users and saying that this is going to be a proper emulator for example one person asked i want to contribute to porting this emulator on my old oneplus 6 and fixing the performance issues the main developer said that emulator should work on oneplus 6 out of the box after release and it has mentioned by the developer that you need to update it to at least android 12 so that is one of the possible minimum requirements for RPCS3 emulator Android port. Android version 12 or above you'll also need Vulkan support if you want to emulate games and possibly this will work with native graphics driver because that is the best chance of emulating these games on Mali GPU Android devices and also Eclipse. Now here is one of the gameplays recorded of RPCS3 Android port running on an undefined Android device but you'll be able to see the Dragon Ball game is being emulated without any major graphical issues which is quite surprising to be honest. Now this is apparently a beta gameplay which means the RPCS3 emulator Android port might actually be ready and currently under testing for now. The developer is also planning a public release so that might be coming very soon. We don't have any official ETS from obviously the developers of RPCS3 Android port but in my opinion from what I can see the gameplay is running pretty amazingly. It does not appear to have any graphical issues and obviously RPCS3 are the founding fathers of PlayStation 3 emulation on PC. I might assume this emulator will be released for Android Android devices within the next six months we don't even know what's going on with the development or what are the current stages what needs to be fixed and what needs to be done before it's officially released this is completely my perspective not the words of any developers but I assume in the next six months we might officially get to see this RPCS3 Android port running on our mobile devices and believe it or not I might actually credit this to the APS3 emulators development because before that we had Olympus emulator and uh, it was not that great. We also had RPCS3 emulator running in Windows emulators but again it was also not great. But with the help of APS3e, most of the games can be emulated on our Android device without any issues. And in my opinion, I think this will also be beneficial for the developers. They will get more donations, more contribution. I'm talking about the official RPCS3 developers by the way, once they release the Android port. So this is completely different to what they said previously that they don't want the toxic mobile community and they are not even thinking about porting RPCS3 emulator to mobile devices. Well whatever is happening I think it is for the good of emulation and I am very excited to see this emulator in real life and try it out on my own Android device. If you don't want to miss out the setup video, best settings, gameplay and much more which will cover after the release of this emulator then be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel with that being said thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time goodbye and peace out